Hi, Vanessa here. In this month's stitch challenge, I will be demonstrating how to crochet the cabbage patch stitch. So this is what it looks like. This is a six by six square using worsted weight yarn and a USH five millimeter crochet hook. All right, let's get started. Starting with a foundation chain of 27 stitches, we're going to work four double crochets into the fifth chain from the hook. So here's one, two, three, four, and five. So four double crochets into the fifth chain, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. That's one double crochet, yarn over, into the same chain stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So that's two double crochets. You want to work two more into the same stitch. Work a total of four double crochet stitches. Okay, now we're going to skip three. This is the start of the repeat. Skip three, four double crochets into the next. So here's three stitches, one, two, three, four double crochets into the next chain stitch. One, two, three, and four. So repeat, skip three, four double crochets into the next. Repeat that all the way across until your last two stitches. So here are my last two stitches. I'm going to skip one and work one double crochet into the last stitch. Okay, that's row one. This was your right side. We're going to work row two, chain three and turn. The chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. So we're going to skip this stitch here because it belongs to the chain three. Now we're going to work a cross two double crochets. And to work a cross two double crochet, you're going to skip three, one, two, three, into this fourth chain here, one double crochet into this last double crochet here. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work into the first double crochet here. Okay, so there's four double crochets here. We just worked into the last one. We wanna go back and work into the first double crochet. So right here, this is the first double crochet. Work one double crochet. So we're going to repeat that, working one double crochet into the last stitch here, which is the turning chain. Okay, again, we're skipping the first three from these four double crochets, one double crochet into that fourth stitch there, and then we're going to chain two, and then go back and work one double crochet into this first double crochet from these four, right into that first double crochet. Okay, for this next set, you're going to repeat, skipping the three, one double crochet here, chain two, and then one double crochet here, crossing the two double crochet stitches. So go ahead and repeat that all the way across. Okay, I'm working the last set here. I just worked one double crochet here. I'm going to chain two 
and work one double crochet back into the first one from the set. So right here is the turning chain. Those were the chains you skipped in the beginning of your foundation. So working right into the top of the turning chain, we're going to work one double crochet. Row three, chain three, and turn. We're going to work four double crochets into the chain two space. So here's our cross double crochets, and this is the chain two space. We're going to work four double crochets right into that chain two space. So there's two, three, and four. Okay, so we're just going to work four double crochets into each of these chain two space. And when you get to the end, you'll work one double crochet into the turning chain. Here's my last chain two space, four double crochets, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now we're going to work one double crochet into the turning chain. So it'd be the third chain from the beginning chain three here from the last row right into the top of that chain. Okay, repeat rows two and three another three times for a total of nine rows. So here's the first, here's row one, two, three, and then I repeat it two and three, three times. Okay, so now you'll just go ahead and fasten off. Just yarn over and pull through and block to your six by six square. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.